Hi, my name is Gal and today we are comparing Wix and Webflow head to head. Let's start off with pricing. Wix offers a free plan to start out for testing or for personal hobbies. But as soon as you want to publish a website under a custom domain, you'll have to upgrade to their paid plans. If you want more features, their premium plans start at $11 per month going up to $39 per month for the business plan. Webflow also lets you design and stage for free until you start to use a custom domain. Once you're ready to go live with a custom domain, you'll need a site plan, which starts at $18 per month for basic sites and goes up to $49 per month for business sites. And if you're handling a lot of traffic or need advanced features, their enterprise solutions have custom pricing. The main difference in pricing appears if we compare how many people can collaborate on a project. Wix allows for two collaborators already in the light version included in the price. With Webflow though, you'll have to pay for an additional workspace plan, starting at $28 per month and it includes three users. In my opinion, Wix gains a point in pricing. Next one is ease of use. If you want to keep things simple and easy to understand, Wix is for you. It's incredibly user-friendly, with a drag and drop interface that's perfect for beginners. You don't need to know a thing about coding to get a beautiful site up and running in no time. Webflow, while powerful, is a bit more complex. It's designed for those with a basic understanding of web design. The control you have is amazing, but it's far from being simple to use if you're not a designer. Wix wins on the ease of use front and gains another point. Next up, the learning curve. If you are new to website building, expect to spend some time getting familiar with Wix. But after just a few hours, you'll be able to have a grasp of most features. Now, Webflow is a different beast. You'll need to grasp web design basics and maybe even dabble in HTML and CSS. Webflow is made for developers and designers and allows for full control but that also makes the learning curve much steeper. Wix wins another point. So what about the customization ability? Now, Wix is pretty good for basic customization, but if you want full control over your project and if you need to do a lot of testing and iterating, Webflow will be much better for you. In Webflow, you can tweak just about anything, giving you the power to bring any design to life and be much more creative. Webflow is miles ahead of Wix when it comes to customization, so it gains a point. Lastly, let's talk about the complexity of websites you can build. Wix is great for personal, portfolio or small business sites. But if you're looking to build something more complex, or if you have a SaaS business and you want to be able to control every detail of how your website behaves, Webflow is much better for you. It handles complex interactive sites with ease, especially if you are a professional designer or developer or if you have a team of people working on it. Webflow gains a point in terms of website complexity. So which one should you use? When it comes to Wix, it's affordable and easy for beginners and best suited for simple portfolios, small business landing pages and static websites. Webflow, on the other hand, offers unmatched customization and is ideal for complex projects. If you have a fast-paced startup or SaaS business, and especially if your revenue highly depends on website conversions to your landing page, Webflow will be much better for you. If you are interested in starting to use Webflow, watch our next video where we cover the 5 reasons to use Webflow for SaaS businesses. See you in the next video!